Hello and welcome. All right, so this is part number eight of chapter number 11, air and water. In this video, we'll be discussing the different rust prevention methods, and these are five. Painting, um, oil film, alloying, uh, plating, and finally, sacrificial protection. So let's get started. The first rust prevention method that we'll be discussing is painting. Uh, paint stops the contact of steel or iron with oxygen and water. And as we know, oxygen and water are the reacting chemicals of uh, rusting. Without them, uh, rust won't form on iron. So uh, if paint is broken um, uh, or scratched, however, the rusting starts and continues even under the paint. So that's the drawback of paint. If it's broken or scratched, uh, rust would start even below uh, the paint. Drawback, I'm sorry. Okay, um, and uh, some of the applications of painting include uh, painting cars, trains, uh, ships, and bridges, the structures of um, the, the cars and the trains and the ships. Uh, so it has a wide range of applications. The second uh, rust prevention method that we'll be discussing is oil film. It is the application of a thin layer of oil or grease, especially to moving objects. And uh, some of the applications include uh, chains of bicycles and the hinges of doors. The third rust prevention method uh, is uh, uh, alloying. You have to understand that alloys are homogeneous mixtures of metals. Alloying steel with lower active metals like nickel and chromium uh, would uh, reduce the probability of it uh, rusting uh, to a great extent. Uh, one of the most common examples of um, alloying is stainless steel. Stainless steel is uh, commonly used in uh, kitchen utensils and in kitchen uh, countertops and it really helps to uh, reduce uh, rusting uh, to a great extent. Uh, the, th the fourth uh, rust prevention technique that we'll be talking about is plating. Plating is coating steel with metallic layers. Now the difference between uh, plating and alloying is that in alloying uh, you mix the iron with metals, with other metals. Here you're just coating iron with metallic layers, just coating versus mixing. Okay, so let's start with the first example. Uh, low reactive metals such as tin uh, is used in food cans. So here is a food can and from the inside it is coated with tin um, and from the outside is steel. However, the drawback um, of tin uh, is similar to that of paint and that is if it got scratched or broken, the iron will oxidize in preference to the tin and will rust rapidly and that's because iron is more reactive than tin. And, that, and that's why it will rust um, in preference to tin. Um, we know um, this is based on the reactivity um, reactivity um, of metal series. And this was discussed in the chapter of uh, metals and alloys. Um, and we, uh, we know from that chapter that iron is more reactive than tin. Now, the next example is coating iron with reactive metals such as zinc, and this is known as galvanizing. You need to know this term. Galvanizing is coating iron with zinc. Now, the good thing about this uh, in comparison to tin is that if the zinc layer got broken, it will oxidize in preference to iron because it is more reactive than iron. From their activity series, zinc comes before iron. Okay, not directly before, but I mean it's before iron. Now, the final rust prevention technique is sacrificial prevention. It is similar uh, to the idea of plating in that it depends on the reactivity of metals. I'm sorry, my handwriting isn't the greatest. Okay, so uh, strips of uh, zinc or magnesium, if attached to steel structures, they will oxidize in preference to steel because they're more reactive. Giving electrons to steel, therefore the steel or iron will rust slowly or won't rust at all. Okay, so uh, some of the applications of sacrificial prevention is legs of oil platforms, oil pipes, underground pipes, bottom of ships. Like here is uh, the bottom of a ship is iron 
and we have here strips of zinc attached to it and so the zinc will um, uh, oxidize in preference to iron avoiding the iron from rusting and corroding uh, the bottom of the ship an interesting uh, thing to know though is that the name sacrificial comes from the fact that zinc or magnesium or whatever sacrifice themselves for iron the name comes from here they're oxidizing in preference to iron they're sacrificing themselves all right so i hope these uh, rust prevention methods were easy to understand and grasp uh, again we discussed painting oil film alloying plating and sacrificial protection um, if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and see you in the next video